Hello from Michigan. So anyway, today we're making taco macaroni and cheese. Two ingredients you'll need is a uh, box of your favorite mac and cheese and then your favorite taco seasoning. I just happened to get this on sale. Less sodium. I already made the taco seasoning hamburger meat. Uh, all I did was follow the directions on the label here. I did season it up a little bit more with extra seasoning. It's nothing really special. And then I followed the directions on the box of the macaroni and cheese. And I also made uh, the same macaroni and cheese I did with the ultimate macaroni and cheese with the extra sauce. So you can follow that video to make the macaroni and cheese. So let's go to the stove because I already boiled the noodles. I already made the hamburger meat. I had to just throw this together real quick and eat it. So let's get started. Here's the cheese sauce. I already made uh, nachos or whatever with the, for another recipe or whatever. But it's going to warm this up. It's pretty much the same recipe that I'd made if, uh, before, and I already got the hamburger meat seasoned up, and uh, the grease is still in it. I didn't drain the grease, so I don't know how much is here. It's not really a pound of meat or anything. Um, noodles have already been boiled. I didn't rinse the noodles off or nothing. These have already been cooked already. I was gonna warm up my sauce so I can make the macaroni and cheese. So uh, I'll be back when, when I add the uh, noodles and stuff. The sauce is heated up. I did kind of burn the, the cheese a little bit, you can see, but I don't really care. So I add the noodles. Of course, I don't know, noodles are nice and cold, so I'll have to heat this up. Like I said, I was making nachos for no, another video. Get all the noodles. I am heating up the hamburger meat back up again. Also, I mean, that's on, not on camera, but zoom out. And you see both heating up hamburger meat when nice and warm. So I'm just mixing this up. Heat's still on. I have to I'm like medium low. Kind of warm the macaroni and cheese back up again. It is a lot better if you make it fresh. I was doing some other stuff, so I had to come back to it. Not really a bit, that big of a deal. Just make sure you don't scrape off that burnt cheese on the edge there. I'm not gonna add that wherever. So I'm just gonna add this hamburger meat to it. Grease and all. I'll scrape it all out, grease and all. Stove off. Let the pan cool off and I rinse that. All I just gotta do is mix this mac and cheese. I'm gonna zoom close up shot here. I am gonna add other like toppings to it, but this is like your base. Well, there's your mac and cheese, taco mac and cheese. Now all you gotta plate it up and then add whatever you want to it. Tomatoes, lettuce, onions, peppers, whatever. So you back to plate it up. I gotta make this quick, my batter's dying. All right, I got macaroni and cheese, nice and warm. Nice ground, granite countertops, so don't have to worry about uh, hot pans or whatever. I'm just gonna get a couple, a decent amount of scoop. Big bowl, I'm not gonna put that much on here. A couple of scoops. I need to stick it to the and there you go, the rest of its toppings. And then leftover macaroni and cheese uh, for another video actually. So, uh, you know, add some salsa, use some, use some salsa on it. Okay, close it back up. I use it for nachos. Shake it back up again, mix it together so it separates. So you just top it in any way you want it. A little bit of salsa on it. 
any sauce you want. It doesn't have to be habanero. And the black olives, kind of like slicing them today. So I'm just gonna take them and uh, break them up by hand. I do is squeeze them and they pretty much fall apart. I'm gonna break them up. Hands are clean. So. I know you can put lettuce on it, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. <clears throat> We got a, we have a four uh, Mexican cheese blend I can put on top. Just throw it on here. Fortunately, the microwave is too small, so uh, the plate's too big. I'll go in there. I don't have no more cheese. The only thing I really got left is either sour cream and some jalapenos, and that's about it. I'm going to use the rest of the sour cream up. We have more in the fridge. But there, here. Like I said, I'm not into making it look good. I'm just here to make food and whatever. And now I put one jalapeno on top. I don't want too much spice. And there you have it. Taco mac and cheese. I get a thumbnail. I guess I can give it a, a taste test. Not feeling good, so I'm not going to be on camera. I did the intro, and that was about it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Mix the sour cream in, a little bit of the cheese, salsa. See, now it doesn't look all pretty now, but I'm eating it. Because it is my dinner. I already had nachos for an appetizer. So, I'm not going to be this on my eating channel either. So, I'm just going to give it a taste test real quick, see if it's actually any good. Mmm. Mmm. There's one more thing I forgot. Oh. Take some tortilla chips you can sprinkle. Break up. These are already crumbs already. Now it's like optional. I'll put a little bit in here and then break these up. Get a nice crunch. Because the noodles are already cooked or whatever. So I'll mix that up. I'll give it a try with uh, a little bit of nacho chips. Mm, that's awesome. Well, I'm going to go finish eating my dinner. I know it doesn't look all that appetizing now since I just mixed it up, but it is awesome. I do recommend it. And then uh, leftover macaroni and cheese. Let's put it in the refrigerator. You can heat it up. Or I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is take it and do something else with it. So uh, stay tuned for that video. Leftover taco macaroni and cheese. So enjoy the video. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment below. Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Peace out.